What's up guys, this is the Bright from I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are assaulting Brussels. I believe it is France's... See if I just do this... Almost, France is almost last city, because they do still have Corsica. But anyway, back where I, back where I was looking. We are attacking a French force. So let's crack on. And we are fighting Napoleon. <laughs> So the morale effects of his troops will be severe, and they have lots and lots of cavalry. So that will be concerning, for I have my Dragoons and the Earl of Uxbridge. So I need to be a bit careful with that, but I do have a second army under Henry Clinton, should things go awry. So let us assault. Because this is... Well, one, they have one last position, which is on Corsica. So the plan is to recruit a small garrison in Milan, and then send um, Sir John Moore across the Mediterranean, assault that island, and remove... The French from contention. Then the interesting thing will be what happens in the following handful of turns, because apparently, after googling, the once there is no common enemy, the once there is no common enemy, then uh, tensions between the coalition members start to amp up. So it might be in our best interests to not create or to not spark that war and pick who we decide to want, who we want to back. So let's have all the Highlanders be in the centre. So I've split my guns up so they have one six pounder and one nine pounder in each battery. Pretty sure these should be within range. A six pounder may be questionable because it's just at the town limits. And on the flank, let's deploy two foot guards and a line infantry. Good, deployed. Foot guard unit. Ooh. Yep, and these are British Grenadiers. For a second there I thought I'd picked. And then let's get some King's German Legion Light to go on the right into the woods. Split my cavalry up left and right. With Bob Crawford in the centre. Five inch howitzer. Let's just put Bob onto the right. If I deploy, what sort of range have you got? Not very good. So stay limbered up for now. Explosive shells are an evolution from standard round shot used in how it's. Okay, so my nine pounders are engaging. So I'm content to do a bit of bombardment from range for a while. But actually, what I want these chaps to do. These guys are going to limber up. My Scottish position is going to slightly angle itself. These guys are going to slightly move up. Howitzers are going to follow them. Stretch these chaps out. Let's get our light infantry unit on the crest of this hill. He's got the nine pounder and the six pounder. Ah, oh, firing. So I want to use this opportunity to get some cheeky kills against their fixed positions. The cavalry is falling back into the woods. I think my recording's going to stop and start again because my. I just heard my heart. Bang on schedule, there it was. be a bit more aggressive on the location of my forces being aware of this cavalry and then you chaps so 
you must remove one unit of artillery. I am assaulting, but I do want to butter them up a bit with a bit of artillery fire. Well, actually, let's do a bit of do a bit of this as we have the bridge. Let's secure it. Let's move my dragoons to the crest of the below the crest of the hill. They have yet to deploy. Which is good. I want to test the range of my howitzer from here. So what range is it? 500? 550? Let's try it. I'm intrigued how far I can actually go. I'm not used to using the howitzer yet, so I can't. Well, they can, they can, they can get some involvement. There we go. They can get some involvement. They can hit this French garrison unit. Just, I'll take that. Any long shots might hit some Swiss grenadiers and whatnot in the rear. First volley. Killed some of the Swiss Grenadiers. So where's Bruce Bonaparte? There he is. Looking very unhappy considering the losses. There we go, and here comes my other artillery coming in. Oh, their guns are taking a devastating beating. If I could run this artillery, that'd be great. Again, they have begun their counter battery. They've begun their general advance. One well, of their gunners has actually abandoned their houses to try and to try and attack me. guns into position how it's a uh, target this cavalry unit so they're trying to hit my howitzer anyone the chasseur of cheval Go chew them up with canister shot. Go the light cross getting shot to pieces. But not soon enough. Engage. You. Oh, they are, they are far. Yeah, that was not unexpected. But that's why you carry so much, so much down artillery. Both those guns are gone, but that's okay.
you maintain your position. To be honest, I'm surprised it's taking me so long for that to happen. Oh, that was the guns, I see. I thought, hang on, it was showing my, my dragoons. Okay, we have another another cavalry charge incoming. And these are Chevrolet Lancers. So get one good volley off. You probably also going to count on getting one volley off, and then. I want all these guys to fall. No. They are allowing my guys to shoot at them, which is perfect. Okay, let's take... Let's bring our Luxbridge bridge back. Pull the light infantry back. Okay, a large amount of cavalry coming in. In which case, let's begin to do this to ensure that flank does not get isolated. It would appear this is going to be their general advance. For some reason the grenadiers can't form square, presumably because they've already been charged. Infantry into the mix, then advance these guys up past the past the cavalry combat, so they can begin to engage the French. And there comes their reinforcements. Begin to spin you guys around. Let's get the line infantry up on the top and then let's get the guards out on the flank. That's why how it's a uh, just start pounding the hell out of them. Barrage, get my King's German Legion over here, get ready to charge them. Cheval. Mm, the square should hold. Well, I can't. You can't form square for some reason. Probably because you're being charged, so you may as well just start engaging them.
Okay, let's get you around here to start hitting them. down this bayonet charge rapidly because you know how these how these get when Napoleon's involved. Smash straight into them. You guys come here too. Then you need to get back here and start firing on the French. You guys reform. Go straight into them. Bonuses. We need to close the jaws on them fairly rapidly. So they're fighting in the trees. Barrage them with canister. Napoleon's in this mix. God alive. Let's get my cavalry here ready. Let's bring Black Bob Crawford over here. Keep hammering them. Oh, that was an excellent how oh, it's a shot. Trivers is not actually they've not really committed. Well, a good chunk of their forces have routed before they made it into combat. Let's get my dragoons in on Napoleon. Let's slam the door shut in their faces and let's commit. Commit my artillery, commit my cavalry. We have killed their general, sir. The Napoleon's been killed. Charge into the rear of their formation. Chase down the heavies, that's bridge. Okay, let's reform. Okay, hold on, before you start going too mad. Or do I just let you go mad and just do this? No, they're in square actually, so that might not be the best idea. Oh, 
There might be enough for this battle in the woods. So the square isn't a big deal, so I've got my infantry in support. Some of my gunners, I suspect. There we go. It's the one the French Fusilier unit is, is in square. Let's try to stay in square. We've got sufficient foot units around to break it. Guys, about to get a bay in a charge. Let's get my light foot involved and let's turn off my howitzer. Oh, yeah, the King's German Legion light foot have come in. They've fled the field. As have the last remaining fuselers of the line. Good. That was fun. A bit different not being able to see in the trees. It's ended there. Heroic victory in the capture of Brussels, and Brussels will liberate. Because I think a, a Belgium on my side would be most useful. We are Let us liberate the Kingdom of Belgium. Yeah. Given me. Oh no, that's a, my resupply. So I've got the 95th Regiment of Foot and the 94th Regiment of Foot. What I can do with is. Well, we lost a six pounder unit, but I'll recruit a nine pounder to take its place. Then this chap will move up and get ready to engage, or to get ready to engage the Batavian Republic. It should be fascinating. They seem to be fairly veteran. They've engaged a lot with the Prussians. You're replenishing, you're just currently hanging about. You are my protector at Württemberg. Remains to be seen how useful you will be. Cool. And let's go down to here. For moving out of Milan. Milan is okay, it doesn't immediately fall to ruin. Let's get you to Genoa. And you can stay there actually for a bit till you replenish. And let's hit end turn. Trade ships are waking up trade positions. Good. French Empire are running out of friends. They're running out of places to hide. Oh, you wish peace. You wish peace. No. No peace. We will destroy the last remnants of the French Republic. It will be ours. Britain will claim it. Then we have to begin the interesting possibility of engaging our allies. <gasps> okay. So I'm absolutely going into the war because it's my protectorate, so... If this is... Okay, this is this has escalated much faster than I ever planned. So am I now at war with the Prussians? The key will be to see who has joined them. Have they been joined by the rest of Europe? Because if not, that produces an opportunity for me. In which case, then my army in Denmark will come striking down. <gasps> yes, that's right, Batavians. Flee! Abandon your capital! You don't need to hold it. Why would you need to hold it? Push east. Okay, how badly is this gone? That are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's Medina mines. Yes, go on. In which case, then, I am now at war with the Kingdom of Prussia. That was not my plan. Okay, so hold on. Before we spoil the main event, let's... 
Oh, you're not massively... That's not massively required. Let's move you up to Milan. Alliance broken. Prussia in the United Kingdom. Okay, so who am I now at war with? So Russia hasn't backed me, but they've not joined the Prussians either. And I'm not at war with... Um, the only new addition is the, is the Prussians, which may be fairly useful. In which case then, Michael Stowell, who has done nothing all game, and over is yours. And we are going to peacefully occupy Hanover. Let's build walls. Got a feeling you could be attacked from many angles fairly rapidly. Okay, okay, okay. So I did not plan for this to happen this way. You will move right to the border with Cleves. You will seek the resupply of one unit of artillery, but you may or may not get it. And this force will go... Lay siege to Amsterdam, I suppose. Siege. Maintain siege for now. Got to figure out what I'm going to do. So we have a, a, a Prussian fleet, a weak fleet. Well, let's, let's see what happens. If they make a nuisance, then we'll gun them down. Okay, then you can go to Brandenburg and try and infiltrate. This is where the bulk of their effort is. Okay, so you go hit Kurdnand von Mufling. So they've just fell back. Hit them again. And just wipe them out. And let's bring Wellesley down here. And just hold. I'm still I'm still allied. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so they they they're still my ally, but they're not at war with Okay. Okay, well you will probably go and hit Venice and Milan where you have to recruit another army. Or if Maybe. Still minus two. They still hate me. So one more turn and this army can get involved and then I'll start to I'll start taxing you now actually to start earning some income because I am gonna need it. So do I want the drill school? Drill school gets me rifles. Hmm. It's quite the interesting situation. So Wellesley's gonna be fighting by himself for a moment. Let's get Ulrich Muller back here to Stuttgart. Back him up with this Dragoon unit. John Moore, you start hightailing it to Stuttgart. This is where the main battle will be decided, I think. Hopefully, um, Bob Crawford can hit Cleves in a couple of turns. And this army under, that's currently occupied or garrisoned by the Hanoverians, not garrisoned by the Hanoverians, uh, captured, will hopefully be able to hold off from any Prussian attacks. So there's that Blucher himself. There's Blucher. Let's make sure my agents are... So I guess, okay, so I can move my agent from Brussels. You go to Munich. Because this is going to be where it gets interesting. Because there's a lot of Prussians down here. And this guy, Nyes now, he's got a very battle-hardened army. So I may end up swinging this chap, Alexander Abercrombie, to the north to hit Innsbruck to help provide a threat to their south. And then this army... To be honest, can I get you, can I get you a general? William de Dornberg. I think we need him. And then you can try get hold of some... What are you... Foot guards, more Connor Rangers. No, 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 no. Let's get a unit of artillery for you. In which case, if 
grants. But it's peace. Use this option to demand a nation places a with cargo on another nation. This is what you wanted to give us. Trade with that country, and no new trade with them will be allowed until the embargo is lifted. Okay, so let's sail around to Venice to hit this port, which is currently building something. Well, no, are they going to let me pass with their carronade frigate? Okay, this okay, this has gone much, much, much more aggressive than I thought it would. Much more aggressively. Let's move you down to join this force under Clifford Harmon. John Moore, you need to move. Okay, the fascinating thing will be to see what happens. Well, my, what I might want to do is this. To march as an ally to support a Württemberg assault. So the Austrians. Oh no, they are attacking my frigate. I do not want to fight it. So I'm just going to auto it. Oh, I think I lost William Cornwallis. Oh, they're clearing out my little frigates. More than welcome to. Frigate fleets are easy to replenish. It's the army. It's the armies on the field. Whoops, that's me knocking a lot of stuff over on my desk. Okay, so the Prussians are moving their forces. Trying to desperately reinforce Cleves. They're going to advance south to Tyrol, so I'll need to hit them. They're going to blockade. Oh, no, they've not blockaded me yet. Russia's pulling its army the hell out of Dodge. You'll pay for this pressure. Do you want peace? No. There will be no peace. But we're defending. They are coming to sally out. And looking at the timer, though, that'll take us way over the edge of our over our um, our time limits. So I think I'm going to put a cut in here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next part of my frustratingly unpredictable let's play. The Prussians declaring war. My ugh. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.